Welcome back my friends to another edition in our CSEC exam pass paper questions and solutions. Now here we are on section 2 and question 10 measurements and geometry trigonometry. Okay here we have a question on circle theorem to answer in section 2 so let's just quickly pull this up so that we can get into it. All right, let me just pull this up a bit. I think that should be good, okay? Now, in this video, we're going to be answering uh, part one and part two, okay? And we're gonna do another video on part three. So <clears throat> be advised to watch that video that is following this one in the playlist, okay? Now, here we have a circle, okay? And they are asking us, in the diagram below, rather, in the diagram below, not drawn to scale, W, X, Y, and Z are points on the circumference of a circle. Center O. T, Y, V is a tangent to the circle at Y. And the angle X, X, W, Z is equal to 64 degrees. Oops, forgot that. Let me just put in my degree sign. Okay, so this angle here is 64 degrees. And angle Z, Y, V is 23, is equal to 23 degrees. Okay, good. Now, basically, as you've seen here, um, the circle points on the circle W, X, Y, and Z, as they have stated, and the tangent. Remember now, a tangent, um, to, a tangent is a straight line that only passes through the circumference at a single point. Okay, so if you notice, the tangent only touch the circumference at the point y okay so here we have our tangent t y v all right um quickly they're asking us now to calculate giving reasons for your answer the measure of angle in part one we're asked to calculate the angle of x y z and that's a easy two marks now let's just identify that angle quickly now the angle x y z is really this angle here that you're speaking about x y z and let me just run my pointer along it again x y z so remember the letter that's it, that's in the middle that's where the angle is being formed so the angle that we're trying to find is really this angle right here let me just mark it okay with my pencil so we want to know the size of that angle. Now, if you look carefully um, in the f on the figure in the circle, W, X, Y, Z, you would realize that we have a cyclic quadrilateral, okay? A four-sided figure, and each of the vertices of the cyclic quad is touching the circumference, okay? Hence, it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, the first one of the theorems that we learned when we were dealing with circles, and if you're not sure, you could do a quick revision. Very soon, we'll be having a playlist on circle theorem where we teach where you're taught the basic concepts of um, theorems of a circle okay so for part one let me change the color so for part one we'll have the angle that they're asking us to find angle x y z is equal to 180 minus 64 okay and really that's equal to 116, 116 degrees, okay? And as I've said, if you notice what is happening, we have a cyclic quadrilateral, so we have learned that opposite angles, and I'm saying that angle, opposite interior angles, if you notice the line there that I've just drawn, my arrow, I'm matching opposite angles in a cyclic quad, so this angle that they have given us, which is 64 at the top is opposite to the angle that they're asking us to find. So the theorem states that opposite interior angles, opposite, and let me just pause the video and write this quickly. Now there we have it. Our theorem states that opposite interior angles in a cyclic quadrilateral, okay, are supplementary, meaning that they add the sum to 180 so for example as I've matched here the angle that is across opposite from the angle that they're asking us to find down here at Y okay so once you subtract the 64 from 180 you should get the value for that angle so let's just quickly um, write that in okay let's just quickly put that in so this angle would be 116 116 degrees okay quickly now let's move on Okay, now in part two, if you notice now, they're asking us to find the angle YXZ. 
So let's identify that angle. Here we have a Y here at the base. So Y and I'm going up to X along this blue line here. I'm going up to X and I'm coming back down to Z here. So really they're asking us to find the angle Y, X, Z. So that angle will, would be located at this point, at the point X. Remember the letter that's in the middle, that's where the angle is located. Okay, so we want to find that angle. Now we have a special situation and we're going to be looking at another theorem here of the circle. Now if you notice the tangent T, Y, V, this straight line here that touch the circle at the point Y, if you notice what is happening, the tangent and the chord, and when I speak about the chord, if you notice I've color coded my line segments that, um, that, that's in the diagram here so that you can identify quickly. If you notice the chord YZ or the green line here, okay, that's the chord I'm speaking about, YZ, it is forming an angle with the tangent outside the circle here okay and that angle is 23 degrees now when you have a situation where a chord is forming in is forming an angle with the tangent outside the circle here right there this 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 23 degrees and also the same chord and if you look at the the, two, the, the blue lines here I have XZ this blue line here XZ that I'm running my pointer along and if you notice I have another blue line here XY okay and if you notice these two blue lines form the angle that we're trying to find at the point X now when we have a situation like that where a chord this green line here forms an angle with the tangent outside the circle there and it also subtends the angle at a point on the circumference in the circle we the theorem the theorem that refers to that is called the angles in the alternate segment theorem okay so basically this angle here that they gave us to be 23 degrees and the angle at X that we're trying to find would be equal so let's look at it quickly so my friends for part 2 we could have said we can say then for part 2 we can say the angle and we're going to identify the angle. We can say the angle VYZ, okay, which is outside. The angle VYZ is equal to the angle that we're trying to find, YXZ, okay? The angle YXZ, okay, which is equal to, and we're going to put the value, and it's 20 three degrees because those two angles are equal now I'm going to write my theorem so I'm just going to pause the video a bit okay guys so that's a theorem um, angles in the alternate segment are equal so again just a quick recap the any angle that is formed with a chord any tangent outside the circle is equal to the angle to the the and any angle that is subtended by that same chord in the alternate segment, both angles are equal. Okay? Bye bye. In part in the next video we'll calculate part three, angle OXZ. Okay? Well, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them or and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, guys? Bye bye.